Hello, this is Gravi Ryan from Gravitational Films, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple water effect in Adobe After Effects. So first we're going to make a new composition to start us off. Okay, duration, 30 seconds should be good. Okay, just for a quick video. I did zoom all the way out. So we go into here. My mouse, my mouse is broken. Well, let's go to 50 because I just want to view at that. Okay, then we'll go into import. I'm going to import multi. Well, actually, no, I don't need import. <laughs> Multiply. Import file. Go into pictures. Then let's import this creator that I just found on the interwebs. Let's just make it bigger like that. And then we're going to go over to the effects preset and type in Mr. And then you'll see Mr. Mercury pop up. You're going to drag it onto the effect. And then when you play it through, you'll see that water is dropping. But we're going to make it look like that there's water in the crater. So we're going to increase the birth weight. And then the blob birth size. I think that's it. Now let's try find, oh yeah, radius outwards like that. And then radius upwards. And then we're going to, let's change the birth rate to around 100. See what that'll look like. It's looking good. Speed. Is there any way to change the speed? Oh, because speed's not important right now. Let's go into lighting and then let's change the light height. I don't need to change that. Right. Direction of the color. That's right. I'm just doing so you can edit this if you want. Just play around with these things until you get what you want. Of course. And then I'm going to change down the birth rate. It's probably around 50. Maybe down to 25. That looks good. Yeah, that looks good. And then I'm going to insert, make it into a 3D grab the rotating tool and just rotate it down like that. Just move it down. Make it flattish. And then I'm going to go back into the project section and import a layer of the picture underneath it, scale to size. And then I'm going to go down to this whole area, select that picture and grab the pen tool start tracing around it so I can make it look like there's water inside the crater. I'm just going to go fast just for the sake of the tutorial. Okay, let's move it up to here. Let's see, no, let's just play around to just these pen points so that they adjust to the shape of the crater and then go over here let's add one point go into more detail if you want to make it look better now if you just I'm just going to deselect this and play now it's okay it's not the best thing maybe if I just move this points up a little bit so it's not looking like it's going out of the just move these up and then if you go over here press M let's just open up the feathering let's feather it a little bit more and let's play and there is the water it looks like it's inside the crater some water and then you can just Select these, go to layer, and then pre-compose them. Let's name this water and crater. Water and crater. Click OK. And then so you're just going to open up your rendering queue, wherever that is, render queue. And then just drag your water and crater effect in and output to my videos and just water is crater and then you just render it out and it will render out the video and, and I'm just gonna pause it and, and stop the video and sh
show you.